What are those, Nicola? They're a surprise, a bone, and a dinosaur slash blind bags. Okay, so you call these things blind bags? Yeah. That's what they're called. And we got to open so what's it. what's up with the blind bag? Can you show me how you make a blind bag? Okay, so you take two of these yellow sticky sticks. notes. <laughs> oh, what are you sticking in there? I guess it's a surprise. You don't draw on the paper stamp. first? It's just a shell. No, we just don't. The drawing breaks into now. Okay. okay, so my mom has to put the phone on the charger. This, these are what we have made. And here's all of it. So you made what are called blind bags. Blind means you cannot see. So we do not know what is inside these bags because we cannot see and they are blind bags. Which one do you want you guys want to open first? We've got the Lego guy. We've got, uh, what's that Nicola? Some sort of... That's a underwater creature peeking out of the ocean. Okay, underwater creature peeking out of the ocean. This. What is this, like a warning? <laughs> and lastly, a... Bone. Bone, skeleton bone. Which one do you want to open first? I want, I want to, to skeleton bone. I want to this one. Okay, let your right open that one first, and you can open yours after. Hmm. Go, Yuri. How do you open a blind bag? What on earth can be inside that blind bag? What's inside of it? Shell. Your turn. What is in your blind bag? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I hope it's a bone. You hope it's a bone? I, oh, I thought I got skunked, but I didn't. You got a bone. Come on, you're right. Open up your blind bag. Hurry up. Get that baby opened. Nicholas, start opening your blind bag. Okay. Let's go, go. <gasps> Who'd you get? A pig. You got bag. piglet. No, you got piglet. Say something. Oh. <gasps> she sticks. Yeah. And Nicholas got. He got a Lego man. And an axe. Oh. Do you want to use your new blind bag toys over on your dinosaur world? That yeah. you created? Yeah. Okay, show us your dinosaur world. Carnotaurus paddock. This is your Carnotaurus paddock. Wow. So you've got one Carnotaurus in there. Yeah. Who, whose car is that? Is that Owen? Owen's car? Oh, yeah. You've got a helicopter here. Someone just landed in. A cage for what? Transporting the Carnotaurus? Now, we will yeah. show you in case we might. In case Look at him. Might. He likes to live in the bushes. Well, that's a pretty cool Carnotaurus paddock. And, let's see, let's get Owen. And here is the Stegosaurus paddock. Okay, get Owen in there while Uriah shows me the Stegosaurus paddock. So, I didn't know Stegosauruses like to live in deep waters. Well, we have that there for them to train, but they mostly spend more time in there. So, they're really only supposed to be in the water to drink. But they like the water. What other paddocks do you have? We have an Ankylosaurus paddock. You have an Ankylosaurus paddock? And right next This is quite the... Uh, paddock. Oh no, you guys have an opening. This guy could just get out of his cage whenever he wants. Oh yeah. He well, didn't block it off good enough. He's escaping. Well, he, he goes on the side to eat those plants right there. Oh, okay. So you're allowed to, he's allowed to free him. He's not a dangerous one? Dragon. 
And we got invisible electric fences around there so he can't escape. Oh, uh, okay, there's invisible electric fences, so he's let out of the paddock. And over here, they could still break out, but we still got you. This, this paddock doesn't look like the wall's high enough. He could just <laughs> jump right over and go wherever he wants. Ah! Yeah, but we got, Nicola, we got he's going to attack your Aquasaurus. He should stop. He, he, he should get a zapped. Oh no, I didn't turn on the electric fences. Oh no. So why is there a raptor in this paddock with this little baby? Is this is this her baby? I guess they're eating plants too. You don't feed your animals any meat? I do. Or do you make your carnotauruses become vegetarians? And here's the dragon paddock. Really like the heat. You have a dragon paddock? They don't like the heat. Tell me about your dragon paddock. She likes eating mud, by the way. And here's water. Get down and show me. Get down. Get down and show me. Here is mud he eats. Okay, so you've got some dragon. He likes water, I guess. You guys gave him some plants to eat and some dirt to lay in. He eats the mud mostly. What? Oh, there's A another one? A crocodilian. A crocodilian cage? Whoa. Wow. Ah! Oh no. And that one seems pretty dangerous. All of them. That's not dangerous. Thank know. you for the tour, Uriah. Yeah. You did a good job on this tour. I know it might not sound real, but the dragon likes to eat the sand. The dragon? Okay, so that guy likes to eat sand. What about this guy? He likes, I think. I mostly feed him this fish. You see what happens? Okay, so he eats fish. That's awesome. Marshall. Marshall. And then there's this guy. And humans are allowed oh. in these cages? The dinosaurs don't attack? No, the babies right now. This is. Well, this is a carnotaurus. A carnotaurus. Yeah. And this is a carnotaurus. That's not a carnotaurus. A carnotaurus. It's a spinosaurus. A spinosaurus. Looks like someone painted that Spinosaurus white. Is he old? No, he's um, pink and blue. And Whoa, well, blue. that was a pretty amazing um, world of dinosaurs that you guys had. Wow. And we're all dragons. ATV. I'm gonna break into your dinosaur paddocks. Uh -oh. Look at him. Jasper! He's, oh, he's, he's scared! He's, he's scared, scared of the dinosaurs! He's scared of the water. Jasper, careful. There's dinosaurs in there. Jasper, don't get too close. Uh -oh. Don't get too close, Jasper. Uh-oh, there's two dinosaurs out of their pipes. Uh. He's really scared of the dinosaurs. Where are you going, Jas? Oh, you want to come to Mama? Is Mama the safe zone? Oh, look at that. He just wants to be safe with his mommy. Oh, you're getting dirty, Jasper. Jasper, don't get dirty. Don't get dirty, Jasper. Oh, wow, look at that triceratops. He's really in the sand. Oh, <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> How can a headless, um, what is it called again? T-Rex or, um, what's triceratops? it called? How can a headless triceratops, triceratops eat a T-Rex? <laughs> he wasn't eating it. He was jumping on it. Have to get out of the pool because I'm, I'm gonna turn on the electric fences. If you're inside it and you're turning on the electric fences, then you'll get trapped in there. So I have to turn it on with everybody else. Okay, go ahead. Oh, oh, they're on, Yuri. Do not touch it. Whatever you do, the electric fences are now on. Okay, so electric fence is here in your crocodile cage. It's here in Uriah's dragon cage. You've got your Carnotaurus paddock, which it's a raptor paddock. It's open, but it's got electric fences. Here's the Ankylosaurus. Here, Uriah, what what dinosaurs were in that one again? Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus cage. They're they're set for the night. What about this guy? Is he safe for the night? <laughs> Oh no, don't let him touch the electric fence. Nicola, that's animal abuse. No, he's trying to escape. 
Oh no. That's sad. I wish there was a way they wouldn't get electrocuted. <laughs> you guys are good little dinosaur keepers.